Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I would like to show you more about the other vegetables we are growing at home. So please come. These are our brinjal plants. We planted them on raised beds a couple of years ago. We made these raised beds. And these are onions. Most of them have been harvested. Some are left. On this side, we have capsicum. These are the colored capsicum, red, yellow, orange. These are just coming up. They need to turn colors. These are all uh, mirchis or chilies. Many of them are having flowers. They didn't bear fruits yet. For some reason, they are not growing as much as they did last year. And in this raised bed, we have okra or lady's finger, which is the Indian vegetable. Show you some of the bhindis growing. They have a very beautiful flower. Our bhindis. And these are potato plants which we planted from uh, store-bought potatoes. Some cilantro is growing. And this is Malabar spinach. We could grow this this year. They say it's rich in vitamins. It's growing nicely. As I mentioned in my other video, the Japanese beetle issue, that's been there and if we caught any beetles, we were killing them or we used the bug in a bag to help us. And here we have the whole bed for lady's finger or okra. My son loves okra, so we had the whole bed for it. And these plants are grown from seeds from last season. We stored the seeds once the pod becomes dry. We stored the seeds and I planted them this year. As you can see, we already had some harvest. There are many okras here. There will be a lot of weeds coming up and we have to pull them. I would leave the bigger ones for seeds for next year. Some more okras. And these are our tomato plants. We got quite a good harvest this season already. Some are turning red. Once they start to turn red, I try to pluck them off and store them inside the house, you know, in open bag or a flat box and that helps to ripen them quicker, according to my experience. This is the whole bed. We try to give support using the poles, but the plants are growing so vigorously. I guess we need to put more support and also we plant them so densely so that the weeds don't grow much. This is our Chikkudkaya plant bean. This plant was growing nicely among all the four plants we planted. Having some flowers and some are bearing the vegetable too.
another chikur gaya but this isn't growing as much as the other one but it's picking up i guess i forgot to show my ivy gaud or dondakayas which i'm trying to grow from seeds i bought the seeds from etsy and i put them in a pots and many plants about 20 25 sprouted i transplanted them into the soil hoping that they will grow now but it's been quite a few days with no luck if they do grow i'll update in my other video these are the roselle plants got the seeds from amazon and some seeds we had previously bought from uh, seeds of india.com but they are not growing as much as they did in the previous years let's hope they'll pick up too with warming weather these are dosakaya or indian cucumbers again i put the seeds in a pot and transplanted the plant seems to be growing and bearing the fruit let's see how it does another group here these are our curry leaf plants they are in a pot because we live in the area where it freezes minus during winters so we move these into the indoors into our garage near the window during winters the plant is about 3 to 4 years old last winter both of the plants almost shed off their leaves and uh, and both of them got fresh leaves i'm happy by the way they are growing we do not use any fertilizers or chemicals on any of our plants I just try to use some rice uh, washed water. A closer look. It is so nice to use fresh curry leaves in Indian cooking. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe and share and uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Happy gardening. Have a great day. Bye.